Welcome to the tutorial Cutting Drawing Parts. In this tutorial I'm going to continue to clean up the lines of the cartoon rabbit using the cutter tool. So to access the cutter tool go to the tools toolbar and hold down the select tool icon. In the menu that pops up select cutter. We zoom in a little bit and go towards the ears. We can see that the ears are made up of pencil lines which is a type of central vector line. Um, you can still use the cutter on these lines um, and with the cutter tool you have two options for its cursor. You can use the lasso tool which allows you to make um, freeform shapes or you can use the marquee which only allows you to make sort of square rectangular cuts. So if I click on the delete button you'll see that this part of the line has now disappeared but if we zoom in a bit more you can see that despite the fact that the line was cut right along the edge of the orange central vector, the actual width of the line extends beyond the central vector. Um, so even though the cut was made here, this little rounded edge on both sides sort of popped forward after the cut was made. So in my opinion, the cutter tool works best with brush strokes, also known as contour vector strokes and I'll show you why. So I'm just going to select all the strokes of the rabbit ear here and then go to drawing, convert, pencil lines to brush strokes. I'm going to zoom back in. So as you saw before when you make a, a strange cut um, with a central vector line uh, it often extends beyond that vector. But if you cut a contour vector line, you'll see that the cut is extremely faithful to the contour. So the contour will just, this vector contour will just take on the shape um, that was marked out for it by your freeform cutter tool, which I think is kind of neat. The last thing I want to show you is that you can also, instead of deleting the portion that you've cut out, you can actually take it and move it around um, and rotate it or you know scale it, skew it, do whatever you want. So the cutter tool is not necessarily just for cutting and deleting, but you can also use it to extract something you need and then move it or manipulate it separately, which we're going to do actually in a later tutorial. So the last thing I want to show you is the use mouse gesture option. Um, I'm going to come back to this other option, apply to line and color art, in a later tutorial when we start to color the rabbit. So the use mouse gesture option only works with the lasso cursor uh, for the cutter tool. So if you select the marquee, you'll see that it's grayed out. So we'll go back to the lasso tool. And this is a pretty neat tool. What it does is it takes anything that's sort of extending beyond uh, a crossover between two lines and if you sweep the cursor of your mouse across it like that it disappears. So you can do that all over which is obviously very useful um, for when I was extending my lines um, beyond uh, the, uh, the original sketch because I knew I could do this afterwards and still get very very clean lines. So that's it for the tutorial, cutting drawing parts. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, deforming a drawing using the perspective tool.